Oh, it's Father's Day and I definitely look like a dad right now. Ooh, boy. Don't get me wrong, I like my new shirt, but uh, definitely dad vibes. But welcome back, it's time for another vlog, and yeah, we just finished up Father's Day. I just finished up editing the latest vlog that would already be out, and I'm still waiting on the God Beast package to even get shipped out. I know it can take some time after the wave drops for him to get orders all complete and getting ready, and then he ships them out in a big batch, but uh, still waiting on an update from that, so I'm crossing my fingers, it's in soon. It was a fun long Father's Day though. Got lots of uh, cool gifts. My wife got me some paints for some uh, Glios customization. So I'll show you guys those later, including some little accessories and stuff that hopefully fit well with the Glios. I have to test them out a little bit more. But I don't know, I'm just doing the intro for the vlog and uh, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, do another update tomorrow, hopefully, when I hear from uh, the shipping updates for the Godby stuff. I just spent three hours building this thing. It was a pain in the butt. But it holds my weight, so I'm chilling now. Wow. <laughs> Did that my park me again? Yep, here you go. Ready? And whoa. Oh whoa. Don't pick for me. I'm trying to fill the yard with a bunch of playscape stuff for them so they have things to do during the summer. Today we're buying the new Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Sake. Saga. Saga. Or saga. Whatever. Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Subscribe here and here. Wow, that was pretty good. Thank you for that. All right, so my God Beast package should be in today with the brand new Wave. I'm very, very excited, and I'm looking forward to doing this review very shortly here. But there's one more package that I'm waiting to come in today, too. This one's very relevant and very needed for the review and for the new Wave that came out. So you guys will see that when I go over the figures. All right, it came in. Let's get this thing open. Let's get into it. We got a bunch of figures here to go over, and I am stoked about these things. Let's just, oh man, I don't even know, get them all out. Oh boy. What to start with? I think we'll start with some of the main ones first. Now these guys, I don't know how to pronounce the actual name, so my apologies, it's gonna be up on the screen, but we got the Kabutu and we got the Nemesis figures, and they are super dope looking. I love this color variant that he's got going on with these. Let's open up the Nemesis first and check that one out. So with this guy, you do get the extra headpiece, which is always awesome, and a couple switch pins. And here is the figure. He looks freaking sick, man. Again, this look, this paint job looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm really digging how these guys look. And they have an extra special little secret that we'll go into in a little bit here, which makes them even cooler than they already are, which is uh, has to do with that one little extra package that I was talking to you guys about. And if you guys are fans of Glyos and already ordered from God Beast, you already know what's up with that, but I'm gonna show it off in a little bit. It's gonna be sick. But the Nemesis looks great, man. Really, really cool. I just tossed that extra little claw piece on the back, but everything looks pretty freaking nice. It's got like this yellowish to green into the pink highlights. It looks really, really dope. Let's get them standing over here and open up the Mushi. And of course, every Mushi has their little buddy here. I forget what these guys are called, but it's just his little bug boyfriend, little mini version of the Mushi, basically. And the figure also comes with one of my favorite heads from the God Beast, this other insectoid bug creature. Uh, it's got like this dome-shaped head, but it's a really nice one. I love using this one for for extra figure building. And here is the Mushi. There he is, man. Again, same with the Nemesis, same design, that yellow to green, and he looks freaking sick. I love this guy, man. These guys are gonna look so sweet on my shelf. Again, these guys are always really nice and movable, and the pieces on these are just phenomenal for building with if you wanna go that route. 
I'm going to keep this guy as is. I have other stuff that I can build with from this uh, this wave. So, But nonetheless, stunning looking figure. Really happy with these guys. And I kind of want to go back for seconds almost. But I don't know. We're going to have to check the bank account on that one. In addition to the Mushi and the Nemesis, I already got the blanks for both of those. So if I want to do my own custom paints on these guys, uh, I can do that. These I'm just going to leave sealed, I believe, because they are just the blanks. So you can see they're just that nice undertoned yellow and then on top was that nice green and pink that they did so the base one is just going to be that nice kind of semi-translucent yellow figure and uh i'm gonna figure i gotta figure out something to do with these either extra parts or i'm gonna start painting these bad boys next up in the wave is this awesome super clear translucent micro shin nemesis this one's really sick it's got these nice spottings of silver on it but the translucency on this guy in this clear is going to be amazing i can't wait to do stuff with the extras i got which i'll show off in a minute but let's get him out of the box i mean bag not a box so again this figure comes with the alternative head and the switch pins and this alternative head looks amazing with that silver design on the eyes Looks really freaking sweet with that hexagon pattern. I like this one a lot. But here is the Nemesis figure, the Micro Shin Nemesis. He looks freaking dope. I love, love, love these silver highlights. They look so good. And I did get blanks of this guy, and uh, I got two of them. So we're going to open up one of those blanks so you can see it'll have just no of the silver highlights. Uh, but this guy just looks phenomenal, especially in this lighting, too. Come on, so good. You can really get some awesome lighting pictures with these guys, which I'm very excited to do there was a mushi for these guys as well but it was actually with the bigger pack of like the bigger giant figure i'll show you a picture of it here and that one cost a bit of money so my bank account wouldn't allow me to get that one but it makes me want to go back and add it to the collection eventually here so we will see about that but i did get blanks of the mushi so you can at least see how the mushi looks in just the nice translucent with the non-silver on top so let's go into those but dang this guy looks just freaking sharp man really really good there's our translucent head there's our little translucent buddy and here is the mushi look at that guy man he is so good look at look at how see-through he is with all the characters in the background even it's pretty crazy uh I, you know usually there's more of a frost on the translucent not a ton of the glios have a decently translucent guy this one feels more so than usual again it's all about that lighting and uh, i'm excited to take pictures with these dudes you can really go to town with these translucent guys with some really cool effects i can already see it especially with those background getting that green through there and everything really cool so this is the blank of the mushi again that big one is the one that has the silver highlights so we'll see if i end up getting him eventually in future vlogs but there is the blank guy really really cool Again, for extra pieces and stuff, too, this is just really sick to have. And I have an extra one to keep sealed, possibly for painting in the future. We'll see. All right, I opened up the blank translucent nemesis just to show it off, too. So there you go. Translucent nemesis of the Micro Shin one. Very, very sick. Again, very similar to just having him to customize or for the extra parts. Worthwhile for these translucent guys, I feel like, especially these nice clear ones that give a nice base for maybe some airbrushing stuff we'll see i haven't tested it out myself so you guys are gonna have to let me know how it works with that so aside from the cool base ones of the mushi and nemesis this is everything i got from the wave and again i think i got pretty much everything except for the big boy micro shim mushi uh, which i just had to pause on since i got so many extras of these guys but really really nice looking set with some very cool stuff now let's check out the little feature with these guys and for that we've got to go in the dark because these guys are black light sensitive come on how cool is that man these guys are all black light reactive and these neon ones just look absolutely awesome with that translucent yellow and even these micro shins i mean come on dude these things just look Freaking phenomenal. So as you can probably guess, the thing I had to wait for was the black light flashlight here so we can actually light these guys up and see how they look in this setting. And boy, do they look freaking sweet. I mean, come on. That is just too cool, man. Very, very cool. Dang, these are going to look so sweet in some pictures. The Micro Shin with that silver looking extra good too because of those highlights. So that looks really nice. But man, do these guys just glow hard with that neon yellow. So, so cool. And they just 
can light up from so many different angles to make them look neat. I have no clue what I'm going to do for my pictures, but it's going to be fun to photograph, that's for sure. Holy cow, these guys look sick. I mean, come on, how cool is that, right? And I've been having fun just shining my flashlight at all my other Glios, too, which I'll show you in a second, because some of my other ones pick up some pretty cool colors, too. This blank nemesis just getting lit up from behind looks absolutely awesome. I'm going to remind you guys again, go check out God Beast's website and pick out some of these guys. I know the blanks are gone, but these guys are still available, these two and the Micro Shin Nemesis and Mushi. So, you know, as of filming this video, they're there, but I know they're running low on the stock. And if you want these guys added to the collection, I would act fast. Just to show you guys, too, the blanks of the Mushi also light up pretty nicely if you were curious about that. So sweet, man. There it is again, wave 43 of the God Beast drop. Again, these guys are just sick as hell. Official rating for this wave is so cool. And I definitely am tempted to buy more of them, but I don't know what I'll be able to do because, you know, Biomasters just had a drop too, so we'll see. But man, I just can't, I just can never wait uh, to see what God Beast comes up with next, man. He's got it just on lock. It's so good. All right, you guys have to check out some of these Glios figures under the black light. Some of them are just way too cool. Look at this skeleton right here. Look at how awesome he just glows under the black light. It looks so sick. I don't even think the camera's doing it justice. Or this armivore back here, come on, look at how he lights up. He's just the translucent purple one, but dang, he looks freaking cool. Some work better than others. I mean, Ghost Rider here looks pretty sick, but then the other figures, you know, only work so well. There's another nice neon one from God Beast. I really don't think the camera's doing it justice, but there's like the new wave of the Onel design stuff, and these look really good too, but again, the camera's only doing so good at really just showing off how cool these look under black light but it's pretty neat to just look around my glios and just shine this uh, flashlight on stuff it's really cool but that's about it so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you like glios make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe for more of that content and again make sure to go support god beast because he deserves it man he always produces a really nice product but we got more glass coming up soon the biomaster drop just happened last night i got a couple figures it looks absolutely insane some of the craziest stuff you've seen so far so that'll be in a mail day in the future or something not gonna want to miss that one it's gonna be really cool to go over those guys appreciate you staying all the way to the end of the video and we will see you in the next one